Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how you can speed up the transfer speeds from your computer to your USB hard drive. What you can see right now is I'm doing a test copying a pretty big file here, it's a few gigs, and you can see just doing a copy and paste, it tells us the speed right here. And this is in Windows 10 and you can see that it's really not going like it's fluctuating around 30 megabit per second and it gives you an ETA of how long it is and how much uh, is left to copy so I'm gonna show you how you can speed this up what you want to do is right click on the drive and go to properties in the drive go to the tab that says hardware and look for your USB device highlight that and go to properties in here you need to go to change settings before you can see the options here now from here we'll go up to policies and you'll see that there's two policies to choose from the default is quick removal and that's what allows you to just pull the drive out and put it back in again and that of course has these side effects with it that with the caching and so on it just slows down over time so if you choose better performance this will make it faster but you got to be careful because you always have to use the safely remove so I'll show you how to do that in a moment let's go to OK it says you need to restart your computer before the changes take effect if we try pasting this again you'll see the transfer speed jumps off to a fast start here and then slows down a bit to a little bit faster than what it was but the ETA is good and the amount of data left to transfer you can see that it's going down at a very quick rate so we can't really go exactly by what it says for the speed here so it's not that accurate of a reading but looking at what's left to copy we can clearly see that it is moving along way faster than what it was before the one important thing to remember is to safely remove the drive when you're done and down here is the icon to safely remove so we would click on that and then here's the option here to eject and it'll say the name of the drive that you're using in my case it's a passport so it says to remove my passport and then it's got the name of the drive however you have it labeled it'll tell you it's safe to remove and then you can go ahead and unplug it and that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.